Hello and welcome to this VPP GNMI service presentation from Pantheon Technologies. As you may know, VPP has only a data plane implementation. That means it doesn't support any of the control plane concepts like configuration data store, structured configuration data and validation of that data before commit. As a remedy, we have created a VPP GNMI service which uses GNMI for configuration and sys repo to store the configuration data structured according to the well-known open config models. To describe the VPP GNMI service architecture, it is best to talk about the three main sections. The first is the GNMI section. A GNMI interface receives a message from a GNMI client and forwards the configuration data to SysRepo. Using SysRepo client library with the underlying transport being the Google protocol buffers. At the very heart lies the SysRepo, a Yang-based configuration and operational state data store for Linux applications. It gives us the functionality that is missing in the VPP, mainly the configuration data store, structured configuration data, and validation of that data before commit. Clients can subscribe to various Yang paths to update and get the configuration. The last section is the VPP section. OC for VPP receives a notification from SysRepo and calls the appropriate VPP binary API. Let's see how to configure VPP routing via GNMI. In this scenario, we will configure two VPP nodes to forward packets between the host and the web server. A bash script will set up Docker containers representing a computer network. We are talking about these containers. Two containers running VPP and a VPP GNMI that is used to configure the VPP. One container running the web server we will try to connect to. And the last container is the GNMI container, which is used for sending GNMI commands via Arista's GNMI client, but it is possible to use other clients as well. We have already started a script, which prepares the aforementioned topology. First, let's try pinging the web server from the host. The web server is unreachable, as there is no L3 routing configured on the VPP nodes. We are also unable to get the web page. During this demonstration, we'll be looking at two places to query the configuration. The first is the SysRepo. We'll use a GNMI GET, which can give us two types of information, config and state. Config returns the information stored in SysRepo, and state returns the operational data directly from the VPP. In most of the cases, both the types should closely mirror each other. The other place is the VPP, via the VPP CTL utility which is a command line interface. Here, we will try to list all the interface entries. As we haven't configured the interfaces in SysRepo yet, the GNMI replies are empty. Also, the show interface VPPCTL command confirms the IP addresses haven't been set and the interfaces are still down. To change the configuration stored in SysRepo, we'll be using the GNMI update command. This particular command enables the VPP interfaces. Here is what happens behind the scenes. SysRepo creates an interface list entry, populates its default values and sets the enable leaf to true. This information is structured according to the open config interfaces Yang module. Subsequently, the SysRepo advertises the changes to OC for VPP, our bridge between SysRepo and VPP. OC for VPP then makes a VPP binary API call to enable the interface. Let's verify the interface configuration with VPP CTL and GNMI commands. We can see both the interfaces are up. The interfaces haven't had IP addresses configured yet. Let's change that. Looking at the output of the commands, we can see we are able to do that. 
Let's configure static routing on VPP1. First, we'll verify that no routes are set. Now, let's configure the routing. In the subsequent GET commands, we can see three pieces of information. The destination prefix, the next hub IP address, and the next hub interface. To complete the topology, we will apply similar commands on VPP2. The configuration is now complete. We are ready for the final tests. We will ping all the interfaces between the host and the web server. Furthermore, we are able to get the web page via curl and also the web browser. That is all. Thank you for watching this presentation from Pantheon Technologies.